John and Terry, it's not Times Square, but it's the place to be. A spectacular day in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Michigan Stadium, 108,000 strong as we get set for the Pac-10 against the Big Ten. Our holiday weekend bash presented by AT&T Wireless begins at the Big House, and it's a battle between the Huskies of Washington and the Wolverines of Michigan. And back deep, Charles Frederick and Nate Robinson, and both are dangerous. Frederick is a speedster. Robinson is a second-generation Husky. You remember his daddy, Jack, who was an MVP in a couple of bowl games. He's a true freshman, and we are underway in Ann Arbor. Frederick is five yards deep. He'll take a knee. It's still got a bone sticking up about two inches where it's not supposed to be. The junior, there's his numbers from last year. Should have seen what it looked like before that. <laughs> Rich Alexis is the single setback. And Pickett wants to throw on first down and does and finds his tight end out in the flat. Going to be a short game, two or three for Kevin Ware. The Alamo Car Rental starting lineup for the Huskies. Here's the biggins up front. Barnes and Butler, Backer, Dan Dix starts for Elliott Zajac, who broke his leg. He was one of their captains. Alexis, can he carry the load in the backfield? Tuyasa Sopo, the fullback. Empty backfield. So Pickett obviously is going to throw across the middle. A little drag route up to about the 27, 28 yard line is Charles Frederick. A stout defense. We talked about it. These guys are all experienced. Rumashek, Hoyer, Lazarus, and Orr, the front four. The linebacking core, Hobson's the captain. Kaufman, a newcomer in there. Carl Diggs in the secondary, one of the better ones around. Marlon Jackson, freshman All-American last year. Drake in June, great safeties. Marcus Curry, man's another freshman All-American wide receiver for the Huskies. Pickett on third and three. Hit his tight end. It looked like he hit him right in the arm, but they appear to have the return out. They got relatively close, and it's not a good kick. And out of bounds to give Michigan great field position. There's John Navarre. Bob and I talked about him. He's down about 15 to 18 pounds. Says he can feel the difference. Lighter on his feet. Things started to unravel, and he felt the pressure of being the man under center for the Wolverines from their own 39. They want to get him in rhythm, and they throw it out to B.J. Askew. Tiptoes out of bounds at about the 42 of the season. Here's the Alamo offensive lineup for Michigan. Morgan, Boz, Pearson over from the defense to play center. Petrozello and Tony Pape switches from left to right tackle to try to help their running game a little bit. Perry and Askew in the backfield. We'll see them a lot together. Benny Jopru is the tight end. Edwards and Bellamy, the starting wideouts. Pick up a four on the first play. Second down, six. Bellamy in motion. Here's the give and a big opener inside for Perry. And he's going to go. Chris Perry on the second play of the season. Touchdown, Michigan. Grabs in for the point One after. Down. Just that quickly, Michigan has struck. 7-0, Wolverines. Fifth career start, 57 yards, 7 on the Wolverines. That's just good execution up front by the offensive line. Poor tackle. Frederick, three yards deep. Good Let's bring it. First down from the 20. And now on the ground of the Huskies. And Alexis puts oh, his head down. Back, Rich back, Alexis back. got four, almost five. Got it done through the air. They were 16th through the air passing in the nation. 96th rushing. They'll try the ground again. Alexis got the corner. Might have gotten enough for the first down. Got out into the slot on the left side. And now he'll be the motion man. First down, Huskies. They'll stay with Alexis. This time, about a yard, and that's about it. Hard second down. And nine. Pickett looks like he's changing things up at the 31-yard line. Comes up firing. Throws it outside. Near the 37 is Charles Frederick. Third down and three. Last time Michigan stopped them on their third down attempt. And now they're bringing everybody up close. And it pays off. The ball is loose. Michigan, I think, has got it. They do. Julius Curry. Did they go for the home run on the first play here? Yes, they would. Play action. Here comes Navarre. There it goes. Got a man just overshot. 
Braylon Edwards. He had him open. No, it's second down and 10. Navarre, quick toss outside, in and out of the hands, and almost picked off. Ronald Bellamy had it. So it's third down and 10. Bellamy, the motion man. Navarre, plenty of time. Down the middle. First down inside the 20. Tyrese Butler with 7 0 Michigan. And the Wolverines in the red zone again at the 18 yard line on the first down toss to Butler. He's a counter to Perry. And Perry down. The Alamo defensive front for Washington. Kaya Ellis with a couple of bad knees is starting. Stevens, Johnson, and Hopoy on the front wall. Jafar Williams, Ben Madavi, two captains. Joe Lobendine, the other backer. And in the secondary, Johnson's who made a nice play already. Carruthers and Newell, the safeties, and Rock Alexander. Right now, it's the Wolverines threatening again, leading by a touchdown with 9.40 left first quarter. Navarre wants to throw a screen, does. Askew had to break one tackle just to try to find some room. Quick drop, quick throw. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver, B.J. Askew. 36 yard field goal attempt by Philip Brabs. The kick on the way and he missed it to the left. So the question mark remains. No good. Pretty soon they're going to try Reggie Williams and Marlon Jackson. They're to the top of your screen. Pickett's looking the other way and now comes back or wanted to, but he pays the price. Dan Rumashek, who had seven sacks. It was good enough to drop Pickett for an eight yard loss. Quick throw to Arnold. And he got it back out across the original line of scrimmage. Straight drop. Has to hurry it across the middle and got it complete to Frederick, and he's got a first down. There's another one of those playmakers. First down just inside their own 38-yard line. Oh, Alexis met in the backfield in a hurry. Huskies go back to a two tight end set. Let's watch the shifts at the snap. And they do do a stunt up front. Finally, a throw out complete, but Reggie Williams takes himself down. They're not thinking. They're coming. <laughs> Here they come. There's the slant. Williams hangs on to it, and he's got a first down at midfield. They backed off, and then they came back, and he just calmly completed the pass. Seventh play of the drive. Alexis with a stiff arm. He still lost a yard. Notre Dame with the new coach, Maryland, coming back second year. Pickett, play action. Flushed from the pocket again. He's going to keep it, and he paid the price. Hello, Victor Hobson. Whew. Third down and nine now. Pickett has time. Flares it out to Alexis. Can he get to the sticks? Not quite. It's going to be fourth down and about a yard. Exactly. McLaughlin, though, will kick. Watch your head! And try to get it to this near corner. Let's see how he does. Just a little too much. Packed house, beautiful day. The big house, Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, where the Wolverines at home lead by a touchdown, courtesy of Chris Perry's 57-yard run earlier. Second down, seven. Both wideouts split to the left side, and now Ronald Bellamy goes in motion toward the ball. The ball looking the other way. Plenty of time over the middle. Wanted to go to Bellamy. Had the ball tips. <laughs> Third didn't, down. Didn't care about it. Up, oh, fumble. The bar has to pick up. All right, let him out, Mishandled snap. And it's going to be fourth down. Charles Frederick is a guy that can take it coast to coast if you give him an opportunity. And he'll have a chance to field this. Frederick from the 32. And he gets out to about the 42. Eight of nine, 61 yards for Cody. Five different receivers. Bootleg. Pickett wants to throw the out. And what a beautiful defensive play. By Marlon Jackson. Doesn't want to get beat even on one play. Second down, 10. Pickett stands in, throws a strike. Nice pass. Complete develop on TV. Third down on a yard. Two tight end set. Ooh, tough yard it had to be. I think he got it. But he got enough there to get the first down. Washington has owned the football, but it only takes about eight seconds when Chris Perry goes for a touchdown. And now it's Pickett. Deep out on the far side, incomplete. We'll see him two weeks from now on a night game against Nebraska from State College. Thank you, Janice, for that one. No gain on that play again. This is the earliest they've ever played an opener, and they lead by seven. 
Third and a long nine. Pickett comes up firing too high for Reggie Williams. Watch your hands! Watch your hands! End over end kick this time. Julius Curry takes it on the run at the 16. Curry, nice return out to the 31 yard line. Got about 15. And for a touchdown, though, for the Hokies there, as you saw in the promo. Maybe Lee Suggs, or maybe one of those guys. Last season, they averaged 143 yards a game. That was the second lowest in three decades for Michigan. And on the ground, they are dropped for a loss there. And the first quarter comes to a close. So the matchup of the Wolverines and the Huskies through 15 belongs to the hometown Michigan team. 7-0. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. To the left side there, they just run right through and make the play. Now back to live action. They go with a screen pass to B.J. Askew who hurdles a would-be tackler and he's into Washington territory. Down to the 46-yard line. Sanderson now checks in as a fullback on first down just outside the 45 nice play fake by Navarre might want it all deep balls got a man and got him touchdown Braylon Edwards Hard screen pass and then 45 yards for the touchdown and grabs extra point is good so again, Michigan with a quick strike offense. First through on a ground play by Perry, and then through the air to Edwards. A holiday weekend bash presented by AT&T Wireless has Michigan in front of Washington, 14 to nothing. Tenth ranked Michigan by two touchdowns now. Following the Navarre Edwards touchdown pass, grabs kickoff to Charles Frederick at the four. Frederick. Got a little seam. Great speed. Broke the tackle across the 30. And against defensive front is a strong one. They'll try the passing game again here. Play action. Deep ball for Reggie Williams. Broken up again by Jackson. Yeah, those two going at it. Meanwhile, Pickett took a pretty good pop from Hobson after he let go of the football. Second down at 10. Cody straight drop again. Trying to find a secondary receiver and now throws it and does. And it's his tight end where across midfield. And Kevin's got it down to the 42. At the 42, 25 yard pass play. And Pickett to his tight end. Great pass protection on that last play that allowed Pickett to look around. He's checking off here. And he might have taken too much time. Lipsky is Fired our to the snap. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. It's the third trip in Michigan territory. Still no points. Pickett with time. Down the middle. Boy, he tried to thread one there. That was double coverage. Does uh, come from behind quite often. Second and 15. Deep ball. Pickett lays it out there, and it's intercepted. Marcus Curry. Second turnover by Washington. So Michigan will take over its own seven. Chris Perry. Perry, whoa, almost broke it again. Perry, five carries, 70 yards, and a touchdown. He'll get the call again. This time, tough sledding off the left side. Got a couple out near the 20. Wasn't that impressive? Man. Nice play fake by Navarre. He hit a home run last time. He's going deep for Bellamy. Just overshot it. He had him, too. The ball at nine. From the 19-yard line. Straight drop for Navarre. Pumped. And almost lost it, and then got drilled. For this, uh, for this ball. Adam Finley. Watch your hands has now! Has only four punts in his Michigan career. Kicks this one away to Charles Frederick. Frederick, nice move on the first defender. There have been a couple of those consumed in that crowd before the game today. Oh, boy. Beautiful day in Ann Arbor. Pick it. Tried to force one in there, and that's going to be interference on Marlon Jones. Wilbur Hooks, number that's seven, is the intended receiver. On the defense. That's a spot foul. Automatic first down. Because Zia Combs now has had to come in, and he'll play him down here to the near side. There's Reggie Williams, all 6-4 of them, a big play playmaker. That's where Pickett wants to go with it. Got it. Inside the 30 and tiptoeing out of bounds. So first down now, just outside of Wolverine, 26. Here comes a blitz, quick toss to the tight end where? And he's inside the 20, so they're in the red zone for the... 
deepest penetration now here at the 19 yard line. Second down at about three. And they give it off to Zach Tuiasasopo, the fullback, his first carry. Third down and a yard. This is a big play, obviously, by both teams. Frederick is the motion man. Two tight ends set. Pickett's going to give it off to Alexis, and he didn't get it. Didn't get it. He got submarine. I'm showing him a leg brace, and he didn't want anything to do with that. He was shaking his head no. Alexis up the middle. He got it, I think. Michigan says no. That's going to be, you know, it's all in this guy right up here. He and Reggie Williams out there by that number one where it's first down for Washington. Pickett. Wanted to throw a screen pass. He's in trouble. Now let's see what he can do on his own. And he's hitting the open field. Nice stop by Cato June. The second down 11. Seventh play of the Husky drive. Still looking for points. Play action. Pickett lofts it out to Tui Asasopo. And he's inside the 10. That was a good play. Third down. Kick it on the give to Alexis. Alexis holding on for dear life, but he's got it first and goal. Nice tough run. Two tight end set for Alexis. Kick it on the give to Alexis. Nice cut back. He might have gotten a yard, but that hole closed in a hurry. And the ball is loose. Michigan's got it. How'd they get it? Just stripped it, I think. Larry Stevens came up with it. The Look officials have not given an official signal yet. Forward progress. Both went out to the right side on second and goal. And now Williams in motion to the slot. Pickett with time. Running out of it. Throws. Got his man. Touchdown. And it's his tight end, Kevin Ware. Nice job by Cody Pickett. Keeping his wits about him. Keeping it alive. Another Cody Pickett hole. High snap. Pickett got it down. And the kick is no good. Wasn't even close. Not even in the ballpark. Good kick. Deep and non-returnable. So. Son of six count. Son is a good quarterback. Chuck Nelson, though, was a heck of a kicker. A nice stiff arm by Perry. But he didn't uh, get the yardage of it. Nice balance. And they lead by eight. This would be huge if the Huskies could force a punting situation by Michigan after how long they've had the ball and not that much to show for Perry gave it up fumble and Washington's got it Kai Ellis is on top of it Williams knocks it loose Ellis gets it well that's what Michigan did last year turn the ball over and help their opposition see if they try a quick strike they'll go with a slant to Williams in and out of his hand he got leveled as second down and ten nice play fake Pickett now sets up and comes back across the middle of Williams. He's got it inside the 10. It's not Williams. It's Eddie Jackson. Oh, it's first and goal for Washington. There's a passing yardage. 153 for Pickett. He's starting to get in a little bit of a groove, it seems. They give Alexis on the cutback. Touchdown, Washington. And they are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up when it was all Michigan yeah. just minutes ago. They get Anderson on track with the extra point, thinking there's plenty of football left. And this extra point, not the prettiest thing either, but this one went yeah. through. I think that's smart. You get a lot of football left to play. So 14-13, Michigan. The Sewer and Askew now back as kick returners. And this one... Will not be returned either. Michigan's going to have to start. That's how quickly it can turn around. Navarre. Oh, man, did he get hit? Uh, he got rid of that football. By graduating this past spring. Here's a run, and boy, big hit. Ball almost came loose again. We've got another one here. Three wideouts. Edwards in motion toward the Look ball. Out. Here comes pressure and down goes Navarre. Wow, like a streak of lightning. Chris Massey from that corner. There, so that leaves the door open, and he drops Navarre, and it forces the punt, and a great field position again. And now on the 45-yard line, great field position. Cody Pickett throws incomplete, intended for Kevin Ware. Second down at 10. Three-step drop, Arnold out in the flat, right about at the midfield strike. And he... Third down, just on the Husky side of midfield. Pickett under a blitz. Got a man wide open in the middle, though. And it's Reggie Williams, and it's first down, Washington. 
and he comes up with a first down at the 36 yard line. They'll give it off to Alexis who's hit immediately drops. I don't think it's a shoulder. I, I think it, if anything it's he just got the wind knocked out of him or he got a bruised rib. See if he throws here on second and 12. Does and it's complete and it's a first down at the 25. With three minutes left in the half. Two tight end set. Quick drop, flares it out, intended for where the tight end in. Second down and 10. Pick it, wanted to throw a slant. Now comes back down the middle, and he rifled it. And it's complete. Reggie Williams, and that was a tough hit. Husky debut. He was the first freshman wide receiver ever to start game one in Washington history. Back on the ground, nothing there. No, 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 no. Ninth play of the drive. They fake it to him. First option today, and it's an option that Cody Pickett would just as soon have gone away with. It's into the left and Williams to the right. If they're thinking fade, either guy is capable of that respect. And there's the fade, and it's to Reggie Williams. And he can't get it because Marlon Jackson's all over him again. That's good stuff right there. John Anderson will try a 28-yard field goal to put Washington ahead. And it's blocked. Much like a year ago, only this one's the other way. And the Wolverines have got it. Shante Orr making like a fullback going the other way. Payback time for the Wolverines. In the practices leading up to the first game. Let's see how Michigan plays it. With a full complement of timeouts, B.J. Askew on a cutback run. Got it across the 40. He's a redshirt junior. He could, he could, you know, I think it's time to let him go. <laughs> They're going to let him go right here. And he goes across the middle with it. Short game, though. And dragging across the middle was Bellamy. That was the first time that I can remember that John worked from the shotgun. Now he's back under center. They keep it on the ground to ask you. First down for B.J. and then some. So they cross up the Washington defense. The clock starts again on the referees ready for ready for placing. Now back in the shotgun with three wideouts. Navarre steps up. Fires had it tipped in the air. Incomplete. They didn't get rattled when they were down 14 nothing. Second and 10. Navarre fires out complete. Good pickup for Tyrese Butler. They knew that he knew what he was going on. And, and Navarre is the same way. He's been around long enough. Third and short. Throws out. I guess you can trust him. He got his intended receiver a first down at the 25. Braylon timeout. Edwards. Call timeout. It's the yeah. kind of spot yeah. you'd want it for a right footed kicker from 42 yards out. To end the first half. Kick on the way, not a chance. Knuckleball left, not even close. And so Michigan comes away empty, even though they've moved themselves into what looked like scoring position. They still have the lead, but we got a good football game going on here between number nine and number 10. It is 14-13, Michigan in front. That's our halftime show upcoming. 14-13 here, ABC Sports presentation of college football. We'll return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And missed badly on a field goal. Those are the miscues on special teams that we alluded to. And now the Wolverines are going to bring it out of the end zone. LeSueur had some indecision from about seven yards deep, and he paid the price. He only got to the 15. It's two quarters away from now. Who's going to be 1-0 and in a top-10 team, and who's not going to be? Yep. So this is a pretty big half of football here on the last day of August. And the give to Perry. Oh, man, he has stood up and buried. We talked about Maryland, Notre Dame, but also Virginia Tech and LSU. Auburn and USC on our holiday weekend bash. Navarre back to throw the first time this half and in and out of the hands of Braylon Edwards. And BJ Askew got a first down on a draw play, but here they've got four wideouts on third and nine from their own 16. Quick drop, quick throw, and a quick first down. Nice throw out to Tyrese Butler. Navarre, Navarre at 6 6 can probably see that quick slant better than a lot of guys. Yes, yeah. He, we talked to him yesterday. He is tall. Here's a give to Perry. And Chris Perry, since he had his touchdown run. Navarre got a little pressure going deep on the streak on the sideline, incomplete. <laughs> That's because Swanee's not quite 6'4. Third down and eight. Bellamy in motion toward the ball. They want to throw the screen pass, and oh, Washington has smelled that one enough. Man. 
Here's the punt. Frederick camps under it and waits on it. Flags are down. Might be a halo violation. I don't know, unless there was. Frederick is daring, I'll say that. And that's the call. So oh. now they can kick him out of the game. That's a good chance. Yeah. So first down. Here comes a blitz on Pickett. Again, a short toss over the middle. You would be surprised. But give the receiver or the back an opportunity to run with the ball after you catch it. Second down and seven from the 41. Alexis, and there's what Bob's talking about. You're not going to run on this defense. No gain on the play. That one's not busy this weekend, but it will be next weekend. Best Here comes the blitz on everybody. Quick slant again. Nice catch by Hooks, and he is into. And picking up a nice uh, piece of yardage. Perfect pass. First down just outside the Michigan 41. Here's a bootleg again. Wants to throw down the middle. He's got a man, and he got it. Nope, in and out of the hands of yeah. Arnold. See, Washington's never led in this game. And we're at one point down 14 to nothing. Empty backfield, picket, pump fakes, now goes in the middle of his tight end. And he's got wear again. What a nice year the corner. Only on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Previous spot. Repeat. Although Pickett brings his tail back up closer. And he wants to throw a quick fade over here. It would have been a great catch. But Marlon Jackson isn't giving up much to River Hook. Ten minutes to go, third quarter. Michigan still in front. Pickett pump fakes now wants it all the other way. Double coverage out there though. How and it's get... caught. It's a touchdown. Frederick caught it off a ricochet. How did that get through? I thought it was going to be intercepted, and Charles Frederick's got it for a touchdown. 51 yards in the spring. Says, go by, get your get your mind straight. This is what the quarterback wants. He wants to throw it up, and he wants on it. John Anderson for the point after. Again, the snap's a little shaky, but this extra point is good. And Cody Pickett, the 51-yard touchdown pass to Charles Frederick, and all of a sudden, the Huskies have silenced 111,000 in Ann Arbor. With a 51-yard touchdown pass, and now Washington's in front for the first time today. He's not homesick now, is he? I don't think so. <laughs> Anderson kicks down to the five. The sewer coming the other way. And he's a smile on the touchdown for Frederick at the 26 yard line now. Michigan with a first down. Now they're going to have to answer for the first time today. They've been in front throughout the ball game. And DJ Askew. And now Michigan with the crowd stunned a little bit. Trying to regain the lead from their own 30 yard line. John Navarre, plenty of time and now running out of it. And down he goes. Throw an incomplete pass where I don't take a loss of yardage. He's done very well on third down. High snap, though, as he works from the gun. Comes across the middle. He's got another first down conversion. He's got more than that. Tyrese Butler. And he makes it out of the Washington side of the field. Threw a shoe on a 74-yard reception last year from the Washington side of the ball. And trying to weave his way as B.J. Askew and uh, three wide out offense from the Husky 46. Huskies thinking about a blitz. They're going to bring it and try to run the other way as Askew. He runs into Cooper and gets what he can. The Florida State would, would tend to business. Let's put it that way. Second, uh, make it third down and three. Navarre off play action. Man wide open in the flat. It's Askew. BJ inside the 25. Nice cutback. Still on his feet. He's got it all the way to the 11 yard line. Nice young man. We talked to him yesterday afternoon. At the 11 yard line, first down. They give it off to Perry. Perry with a cutback got down to the 10. Is second down and eight. Michigan can get a first down inside the one. Navarre wants to throw, quickly does inside the five, and it's down to about the two. The ball is loose, I think, unless they blew it dead. Washington says they've got it. The officials have given no indication. A lot of, uh, a lot of different thing, ways you can go right here. Michigan's got about 100 tight ends in there. Third down and inches. A handoff. Perry. Touchdown, Michigan. Chris Perry, second touchdown of the day. This one short distance after the other one was long distance. And the Wolverines have tied it up. Lloyd Einberg's going to try this one. Different kicker. And he 
you got it. So Michigan's back in front, courtesy of Chris Perry's second touchdown of the day with 5.30 to go third quarter. Michigan by a point. Michigan has regained the lead, but should they have had possession of the ball when they scored? Let's take a look at the catch that got them down close. This was the play just before the touchdown. This is Braylon Edwards. Watch the ball come out before he hits the ground. Right there, the ball's out, and he's still off the ground. Surrounded by four guys. Yeah, he got hit by everybody. You know that in that area, you're going to get hit by everybody. Brad's kick goes to Frederick, who has a touchdown as a receiver. And Frederick trying to weave his way to the 25. Working from their own 25, again behind. But they're on a roll. Offensively, Washington has scored touchdowns on three of their last four. We're going, and Louisville's had a couple good seasons in a row. Bunch of good quarterbacks around, two good ones in that game. Yep. Here's a quick toss, Frederick again, and he's got a first down out to the 40. Oh, they're, they're going to benefit from being opposite Reggie Williams all year long. That's true. He's got five catches for 88 yards. Alexis. Brad Nestler, Bob Greasy, Lynn Swan, and our ABC crew. You can see how blue the skies are over the big house in Ann Arbor. And this final day of August, earliest start ever for these two football teams, and it's been a good one. 21 to 20. Frederick, the intended receiver, on picket there. And, and he just got out of a bad play by calling the timeout. Hasn't thrown to Reggie Williams yet this half. Throws complete. And it's Jackson to the other side, a little bit short of the first down of the punt. Low snap. Let's see if he can get it off. No, he won't. That's been killing Washington all day. Their deep snaps on extra points, field goals, and punts. Would that be the fortuitous? Second clock expired. Oh my! I rule dead ball. Delay of game. Delay of game on the kicking team. Madavi is the punt snapper. penalty remains fourth down. Second chance for McLaughlin, and this one's bad too. But he gets the kick away, and he hits it a mile. Wow. <laughs> so they take they got the band out of the stands and sitting them on along the side there. Yeah, that gives you a few more bodies to put there in. There you go. First down Wolverines. On the give. Washington's been a little stingy with the ground game. Mario Lowe had the two biggest plays of the game last year. A blocked field goal, and then about three plays later, an interception he took in himself. That's what turned the tide in the Huskies' favor. Pass too far in front of BJ Askew. Yeah, Ruff's about 35 down. Yeah. Looks good. Good for him. Navarre trying to throw a quick slant, had it batted down and almost intercepted. Washington saying, our ball, our ball. The officials are disagreeing. No, they're not disagreeing. Huskies have it. Here's Washington at the Michigan 20. Pickett might want it all on the first play. To the end zone, to Frederick. Couldn't pull it in. And it's... Talk about a tip drill, he tips it to himself. Second down at the 20. Pickett, got a man open in the flats, Alexis. And Alexis got about four. Here it's third down at six at the 16. Michigan's gonna bring it all. Quick throw and a nice open field tackle out there. You gotta give your kicker a chance. And maybe the confidence of kicking a field goal here might boost him over the edge and be a better kicker for the rest of your season. He's you don't one. let him kick, you're just sending a wrong message. And he's got this one. You're right, Swanee. Three out of four against Michigan last year. Had one blocked earlier, but he knocks through this 30-yarder. And now getting slapped on the helmet by his teammates. So exactly what Lynn Swan was talking about. Anderson with a kick. The is about six yards deep. He says, now nah, let's just... It's as much Rick as Spurrier and Stoops with the visors. Yeah, you know? it's, it's, it's just it's part of the deal. That's right. At the 20. They fake the draw. Off play action, come up throwing. Boy, did he fit that one in. That was one of those where everybody was kind of holding their breath to see if the linebacker was going to pick it off. Instead, he zipped it right in there. Nice play fake by Navarre. Deep out, got a man wide open at the 45, and Calvin Bell took himself down. He, oh, man. He had 30 yards to run. At least he got Michigan a big first down, because right now they trail by two at the end of the third quarter.
23-21. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message in a word from our ABC station. We start the fourth quarter with Michigan trailing Washington by two, but a first down at the Husky 40. End around, possibly coming. There it is. Quarterback got a good block and Ronald Bellamy down the sideline. Jan Navarre stuck his nose in there. I don't know if the quarterback got a block or if he took a block. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he cartwheeled him, I'll tell you that. Nice play fake by Navarre. Wide open is his tight end. Inside the 20, and it's Benny Jopru. Just inside the 18-yard line. Michigan in scoring territory in the red zone again. And here's Williams straight up the middle. Put a hand down to keep his balance. Got inside the 15 to the 14. They got that baby locked in. End of the year. Second down. Perry straight up the middle. And Chris might have a first down, I think. 16 carries, 96 yards. And two touchdowns. He'll get it again. Digs into the middle of that pile and keeps his legs going. And he got down to the three. Bring in the big fullback now, Sanderson. About 283 pounds of him. Perry behind him. Perry. Touchdown, Michigan. Chris Perry's third of the day from three out. And the Wolverines are back in front. Extra point. Nyberg up and good. 12.40 remaining in the ball game. Back and forth we go. It's Michigan in front. Phillip grabs to kick off now that Michigan's back in front. High short kick. Somebody's got to play on this. It'll be Frederick from the nine. And he's not going anywhere. Fired up Michigan special team. 103 yards and three touchdowns for Chris Perry. And now the crowd coming to life. Washington trying to battle back. Alexis gets it out near the 20. Both are thinking Rose Bowl or bigger. And it has been a seesaw battle here in the second half. Michigan leads by five. Cody Pickett throws it out. Frederick couldn't hold on to it. 11.44 left in the ballgame. And Third thir down seven. 13 of them were in the fourth quarter. Flags all over the place. They'll blow it dead. I think it's going to be a legal procedure Prior on to Washington. Snap. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Well, regardless of what happens on this third down, there's still a lot of football left. Third down and 12. Pickett pressured down the middle. Got it. And I don't know if it's good enough for a first down because there's a Wolverine sandwich right there. Two tight ends now for Washington. It's been a quiet, quiet half for their freshman All-American, Reggie Williams. But other guys have picked up the slack. Pickett, look out. Had to get it out there and got it to Williams. It's his first reception of the second half. I don't know how the quarterback got rid of that one. I don't either. Responsible for one, but if the other guy is not blocked, picked up, then, then you can have a, a good blitz and you can... These aren't roping calves he's playing against, but he's got 300 plus and two touchdowns. Long stretch handoff. Alexis broke into the clear. Rich Alexis, one man to beat. Inside the 30, down the sideline. And he catches him at the three-yard line. Charles Drake saved a touchdown. Try 59 and one pop. Rich, first and goal at the six. He'll get it again. Got it to the five. Victor Hobson made the stop. Second and goal. Kevin Ware is the tight end. He's been one of Pickett's favorite targets. But it's a draw play to Alexis. He's close. Good call. I like the draw play. Even and now Tuiasa Sopo, the lead man. He's the fullback in the eye. Alexis the tail. They fake it. They option. And it's a walk-in for Alexis. Touchdown, Washington. It's about the first or second time we've seen the option today. And they pull it out on the goal line. The crowd again silent. Three wide outs for Pickett. They got they got two point conversion plays they work on all the time, and this is one of the ones they've worked on. Reggie Williams up there on the top of your screen, but they're coming the other way. Fade for Frederick, trying to underthrow him and let him make the adjustment, and a flag is down. Pass interference 
on the defense. This may completely change the complexion of the two-point conversion. Now it's at the one and a half yard line. Play action. Pickett still looking. Got a man in and out of the hands of Ware. It looks like Drake got a hand on it. So the two-pointer goes for naught. But Washington has indeed regained the lead, courtesy of a long run by Alexis. And then on the option, pitch the one-yard score. Washington 29, Michigan 28. That's Chris Perry. LeSueur is back there with him. Jeremy will have a shot, and he won't bring it out. John Navarre, 16 of 27, 226 yards, a touchdown, and an interception so far today. He'll be called on again right here. Screen pass, E.J. Askew. And a lot of Huskies there to meet him. Looking for Askew. And again, as they did the last time they had the ball. Three wideouts now. Butler, Edwards, and Bellamy. Bellamy in motion toward the ball. Navarre getting flushed in trouble. And down he goes, and he got hammered. Three and out, and the Wolverines have to punt. Oh, and they got close, but a good kick. By Finley, Frederick Camps under, and he dropped the ball. Did he get it back? I think it hopped right back to him. Both teams are really playing well offensively, which is impressive because that was the, the downside of their, these teams last year. Alexis. Here's that stretch play. It was a big gainer last time. This time Michigan drops him at the line of scrimmage. So they did it with short passes that were completed across the middle and the few runs that they mixed in good for first downs. Third and long. Here comes a blitz. Pickett, quick slant, incomplete. Intended for Williams and broken up by Jackson. That they blocked five last year. Low snap. He's going to keep it. It's a fake. And now a quick kick on the run. And he shanks it out of bounds. And let's see where they're going to spot it. Outside the 40. So a golden opportunity with a 20-yard shank punt for the Wolverines. Nice play fake. Navarre all by himself on the bootleg. Took a lick as he threw it. And it's incomplete. 5.22 remaining. Michigan trailing at home. They may not get their hands on it again if they don't get a first down. Navarre, quick toss across the middle. Spinning. And coming up just a little bit short is Braylon Edwards. Third down and a healthy yard to go. Askew looks like he's going to be the lead blocker for Perry. Perry's got the first and then some. Of John Navarre to have a guy that he can go and talk to in a quarterback. Perry's got 111 yards. He still has 111 yards. It's a career high in rushing for him, though. If the offensive quarterback coordinator is a coordinator, he's thinking pass all the time. That's true. Rick was never a coordinator. Was a quarterback coach and a good one, though. Askew fumbled the ball, but he's out of bounds. I'm, I'm sure that Malone is asking the Leffler, say, all right, give us a good pass here. I want to call a good pass. Let's see what he calls. Third down. Navarre. And that's a good call. It's a great catch by Butler. And the Butler does it inside the 20. First down, Michigan. Inside the Washington 20. Back to Perry they go. And Chris is down. <laughs> Second down. Long hand off to Perry. Weaving his way back inside. He might have a first down. Very close to it inside the 10-yard line. I, I talked to him on Monday, he said. It would be tough. I bet he's loving it right now. Oh, yeah. And tripping and falling on his own. And that was third down and short. Troy Nineberg has hit the last two extra points for Michigan. He's going to get a shot. After the other kicker, Brabs missed two field goals. Nineberg's kick. No, it's wide right. We asked Lloyd Carr the other day, if it comes down to a kick, you don't have Hayden Epstein anymore. Washington leading by one. All they're thinking about is holding on to the ball and getting a first down somehow. Alexis wrapped both hands around it and now tried to pop it outside, and there's Michigan first. And I guess not pull an upset, although they came in the higher-ranked team, but when you play in this place, I don't know how you're ever considered a favorite. Now Pickett almost tripped going back, and he swarmed under. And another quick timeout taken. So let's see what Washington does on a third down and 17. They don't want to get too cute. Michigan's thinking about stripping the ball if they can or forcing the punt with another timeout. They'll play it straight. 
up the middle. That's it. And here comes the last Michigan timeout. Well, that needs a clean snap. He hasn't had one all day. Gets one there. They were coming after him, and the punt is a knuckleball. Michigan's going to have it very close to midfield, although it takes a Husky bounce down to about the 41-yard line. Only 27 seconds taken off the clock by the Huskies on that last possession. Navarre comes up throwing and got it out. Complete midfield to Butler and out of bounds. Real quick. Michigan at least 30 yards away from giving a field goal kicker an opportunity, you would think. Ball batted at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. He just holds up yeah. his run. Smart player. Third down, but it's two down time for Michigan. With that in mind, they hand off inside and ask you his level at midfield. Navarre's in the shotgun. This pass means everything to the Wolverines. Full blitz, pass, complete. In and out of the hands, or is it a fumble? Michigan's covered it. They're going to say it was fumbled by Edwards. It's a fumble, and it's a first down. Four wideouts for Navarre. Still out of timeouts, but getting closer. Navarre to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep. Lays it out there and overshot everybody. Tyrese Butler was the intended receiver. Had single coverage. Watch the play now. The throw is to Braylon Edwards. There's possession. There's the hit by Massey, and that is a fumble. And here comes Butler. And All right, a sack would end the game here. You cannot have a sack. Here they come. Navarre is in trouble. He got rid of it. Incomplete. He just got rid of it. So here's third down again. Again, Washington shows as though they're going to bring it all. They do bring it from the corner. Navarre's in trouble, steps up, flags are down, deep middle incomplete. Now is there a holding call because that flag. There were 12 players on the defense. Illegal participation. 15-yard oh. penalty. Wow. 15 yards. With six seconds left. He's going to try a quick out up the top of the screen. No, he's just going to spike it. Yeah, stop the clock. Five seconds left in the football game. If he misses it, ninth-ranked Washington gets out of the big house with a big win. If he hits it, he is a hero in Michigan for years to come. Grabs from 44 for the Michigan win. Kick on the way. He might have it. He's got it. Michigan wins. Unbelievable. The third time is indeed the charm. Somewhere in that mess of Wolverine is Philip Grabs, a junior out of Midland, Michigan, who's become a cult hero in Ann Arbor in five seconds.